Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. This time we're on episode 29. I've had a lot more time to record this week, so I've been recording a lot of Full Metal Alchemist. Everything is fresh in my memory and I'm really excited to get back into it. Last we left off, Ed and Al are confronting Father. Ling has turned into Greed. We'll still, we'll we still have to see what's going on with that, but I have my suspicions. Ed has his suspicions. There's a lot of things that could be happening, but yeah, we're just gonna have to wait and see on that one. We still don't really know anything about Father, and his relationship to Hohenheim is a bit of a mystery. He clearly knows of Hohenheim, but doesn't know him like that well. We still have everything going on on the other side of the coin with Bradley and Roy, as well as, you know, Riza, Salim, and everybody kind of entangled in that whole mess. And then we've got Scar and Mei Cheng, who are kind of retreating because Scar's hurt, Scar's injured, so is Mei. As usual, everyone's moving in different directions at once, so I'm ready to dive back into it. If you'd like to check out the next episodes right now, you can go on over to my Patreon, the link is in the description. Episode 30 is available on the Soul tier, and episodes much in advance are available on the Ascended tier. There are also the Extended Cuts, so you get more reaction and more discussion to go with it. Let's not waste any more time, let's get into episode 29 of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Hey, where are you taking us? Just get in. It's a very bright room. Look, kind of looks like oh it's just an elevator i was like oh, are they going into some like artificial truth room no it's an elevator i'm expecting too much maybe <laughs> this looks like oh. it's central command right we were right below it well, maybe it's not just the fuhrer the entire military might be involved but hey there is some good news in all of this. There has to be some qualification with this because, you know, Roy was never informed of any of this and he was a pretty high rank. It is. I tried to reach out for it, but it said that it couldn't go with me. Yeah, it was. It soul. My body. Interested in how Al would react to this. Yes. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty relieving. Yes. And now that we know it's there, we're one step closer to getting it back. <laughs> What's that weird little cat doing in here? Uh, well, you know that little girl? Are you serious? She's inside your armor? Oh, wow. Mother, stop yelling. And while you're at it, will you put on some pants? Hey, what's the hold up? Get a move on. Oh, no. <laughs> Mass murderer, but episode 29, struggle of the fool. We had something uh, episode like, earlier in the 20s, something of the fool, like advance of the fool. What else was I supposed to do? She's hurt pretty bad. Hey! <laughs> Wrath will take over babysitting you now. Right this way. Wrath? Yeah, do they not know Bradley is Wrath yet? It's sometimes hard to keep track of who knows what. Wrath? Now Roy's here. Is Fuhrer King Bradley? The guards left us alone. There are three of us and only one of him. He's only got one sword with him. So, he's that confident he could take us all at once. He doesn't have his glove on, but... You can see the outline of the... Fuhrer? <laughs> <laughs> so what was that in the hospital that day, when you came to visit me? You really had us going, didn't you? I don't recall lying. I instructed you to suspect everyone. And not to meddle any further. The only Which thing he did. you need to know is that you're important to us. And there's no need for you to dig any deeper. Accept the importance of your role and keep your heads down. You do that, and no harm will come to you. Well, that's great. Except for, for the sacrifice what part, right? To all the people who aren't lucky enough to be considered sacrifices. There's nothing you need to know that I haven't already told you. Is that clear, Full Metal Alchemist? <laughs> you chose that as my title. <laughs> I only joined the military because I thought it might help us get our bodies back. But now, now I know what the state alchemist program really is. You're using it as a way to recruit your sacrifices. Well, I'm not going to let you use me to accomplish your sick goals. Yeah, so I wonder what the whole... I resign my title as a state alchemist. Because they're going to be using... Okay, hold on. I'll save it. Fittingly crusted with blood. Your plans are going to fail. I swear on my own grave that I'm going to stop you. I'll warn the other state alchemists. I'll tell them. What was that lovely young girl's name again? Uh oh. Ah, uh, yes. It's Winry Rockbell. <gasps> Your auto mail engineer. Yeah. And you grew up with her in Risenbull as well, if I'm not mistaken. He has so much leverage over them. Your family member, isn't she? 
I've heard that she's made quite a name for herself with her customers in Rush Valley. Such a sweet and trusting girl. You stay away from her! Just leave her out of this! Well, that's up to you. If you'd rather not take it, then I will simply have to cut her down. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. See, it's really hard to negotiate with somebody that doesn't really have anything to lose. It's also really hard to negotiate with somebody in so much control over your situation. Edward and Alphonse and Roy, everybody, they obviously have people they care about, people they don't want to lose, people that can be held against them, and that automatically puts them in a weaker position when it comes to bargaining, pretty much, period. Like, there's nothing they can really do about it. So one really big thing that I haven't really talked too much about yet, just because there's been so much else going on, is what seems to be Father and the homunculus's plan to sacrifice a lot of Amestris, kind of like how they did with Xerxes. Tim Marco was talking to Envy about that, and Tim Marco was guessing that, you know, they're going to make a giant transmutation circle or whatever to sacrifice everybody in order to make a Philosopher's Stone. And what Envy said was, you know, that's partially right. Like, you're almost there, but you're a bit off. And if I had to guess, the part that he got right is making a giant transmutation circle to sacrifice everybody. But I don't think it's to make a Philosopher's Stone. I'm not quite sure what it is he's trying to make, but I have a couple ideas. I think it's probably safe to assume that it's ultimately for Father. And the most likely thing that I can assume Father would want is even more power. And not as in like political power or influence over other people. It would probably be power within, as in like he probably wants to attain some sort of level of godhood, just some sort of omnipotence, maybe complete immortality, eternal strength. It really could be anything like that, but I could very easily see that being Father's goal because it's probably one of the things he doesn't have that he still wants. But the way this conversation is going is a kind of confusing me. It's a throwing me off just a little bit because Bradley's out here telling them that if they cooperate and they follow instructions and all that, that they won't be hurt. And that's confusing to me because how can you be a human sacrifice and not be getting hurt? But then Ed says something, it almost sounds like they're the ones that are going to be spared as if they are different. Do I have the wrong idea of what sacrifice is in my head? Because now it's making it sound like somehow they're going to be the only ones that do end up surviving this. Or of course, at least that was like the plan. I'm not quite sure. I feel like I have a lot of the puzzle pieces, but I'm not quite clicking with me right now on how this whole human sacrifice thing goes. I don't think I'm supposed to know yet. I think it's still slowly unraveling itself, but I don't know if I'm on the same level as some of the characters in the show are at the moment. And I don't like that, but I'm still trying to pick it up. I just want to let you guys know where I'm at with it as well, because it's just it's a bit confusing the way they're describing it and just the sort of terms they're using for it. It just seems kind of counterintuitive to tell people that are assigned as human sacrifices that they won't be hurt. You know what I'm saying? I, I just, okay, whatever. How thoughtful. Uh, sir, you don't have to worry about us, but I have to ask, if we're going to continue to search Al sounds really watch, nervous. Will you please allow us to keep searching for a way to get our original bodies back? Please, sir. I don't see why not. As long as you don't interfere with our plans. And what do you have in mind, Colonel? You wouldn't do something so petty as to quit the military. And I still have my ambitions. Your plans don't change that. So I'll hang on to this. And I'll retain my rank, too. That's fine with me. We have nothing more to discuss. Okay. Everybody go home. I Good talk. I would like to ask you one question, sir. Would you now? Go ahead. Are you the one who murdered General Hughes? <laughs> No, that was not me. Then who did? Colonel. Is he going to tell him? To one question. Ooh, okay. Oh, I really want him to know. He's he's close. Just one moment, Alphonse. <laughs> Is that all? That's all. You are now dismissed. Huh. What? <laughs> is, is she awake and dodge that? Oh, that was too close! <laughs> oh, hey, Colonel. That was, uh, you got any change? almost happened to him Want again. Money now? He's already had somebody die inside of him that? from Bradley. Jeez, is that all you got, really? It's apparently more than you've got! Sure, whatever. No. See ya. Hey! Sorry, Colonel! They not, yeah, they're not gonna I'm talk. What the hell's with them? No. Is it just me or is everybody way too nonchalant about everything that's happening right now? 
Seriously. Lieutenant! <laughs> Is there something troubling you, Colonel? You seem slightly I missed you, Armstrong. Just how do you expect me to appear? I had hoped a young woman would be staying <laughs> a mustachioed muscle man. Colonel? Uh, Lieutenant. I was getting worried. Uh, sorry. Uh, Lieutenant Hawkeye, reporting back to post from latrine break, sir. Major Armstrong happened to be passing by. He was nice enough to watch my post for me. Thanks for everything, Major. I appreciate it. No trouble at all. So you didn't run off. Their relationship is never give up, no strange, what. you know. Once was all but I they clearly... Had. They clearly got a little bit of a thing going on. When you'd had the chance. Right? <laughs> at least, it's clear to me. I think so. And I know Armstrong's not in with Ed? everything going on with the Fuhrer. This is a surprise. You didn't break your auto mail again, did you? What? No! I'm calling because... Is everything alright? Have you noticed anything weird? Like any suspicious people following you? Well, Ed... What is it? You're creeping me out. <laughs> What's creepy? It's just... Well, it's actually pretty rare to get a call from you. I've never heard you worry about me. This is weirder than a snowstorm during the summer. <laughs> well, fine! Maybe I won't worry! <laughs> really? Thank you. Wow, she's... A lot. Uh, sure. a lot more in so tune with her feelings okay, for him. Right? Yeah. Okay, bye. She kind of had a, her realization and now she's... Safe for now. You know, it's that kind of desperate worry they're gonna manipulate... Not hiding from it as much. <laughs> No, it's greed, still. What do you want? Your pal asked me to bring this to you. Ling did? What does it say? It's in some other language. Yeah, it is. But he just wants you to deliver it to some girl. Lanfan? Yeah. I wonder what Lanfan's gonna think of this. If you follow us and try to kill her. I've got more class than that, alright? And as a rule of thumb, I don't fight women. <laughs> And another rule of mine is to never tell a lie, but hey, it's your call. Hey, wait! Ling! It's still greed, kid. Old okay. Alchemist. Every everybody's just so Old casual. Alchemist. <laughs> it it's, it's really throwing me off. Who is that godless monster? What cause would bring him to initiate a civil war and ravage an entire country? Is someone there? Who is that? Did Yo! Come from outside? Uh, this is so strange. Scar has a lot to come to with uh, realizing that it wasn't an actual Amestrian that started the war. Was your head wounded in the... You're not the one known as Scar, are you? <laughs> Tell me who you are first, and what are you doing down here? <laughs> My God! This must be fate. I'm the alchemist responsible for the extermination of your oh people. Oh my! What are you doing? Oh, is he trying to get himself killed? I wonder. It's nothing serious. What do you? Just what do you? A mild concussion. She'll interesting. Be fine after a few days of rest. I'm so relieved. Well, I'm sure as hell not. You seem to think this is a hospital. You filled my house with patients. Where am I supposed to sleep now? Tell me that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I like how this doctor's just. Lung What are you doing? You shouldn't be out of Pretty important character, to be honest. Young Lord, isn't he with you? Uh, he's not, but he's still alive. I've got a message from him. What's it say? Lanfan? It says... It says he found a philosopher's stone. The young lord has saved our clan. And now, we have to return to our country. We've got to get the news to our people. Yeah, Where is he? about Will that. Will you take me to him? What's wrong? Why are you being so quiet? Just explain everything. Has something happened to the young lord? Please talk to me, Alphonse. Where is the prince? Yeah, she deserves to know. She's given up a lot. I spoke to him once about politics. His naive theories on leadership were amusing. He said a king's duty is to his people. 
as if the people actually mattered when ruling a country. The fool doesn't mm. look where his allegiance to the people has gotten him now. Typical human. Shut the hell up! Don't underestimate humans! <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. He's patient. Just waiting for any chance he can get. I've got to stay on my toes. That's... <laughs> Was funny. <laughs> starting to reconsider his ambitions. I don't know if that was supposed yeah, to be funny, but a monster like you into his flesh. I don't know if that was supposed to be funny or not, but Bradley's one wide eye at that. Like I, we've just we'd never seen Bradley anything except calm and mild mannered, or uh, you know, on the, the rare occasion we see him angry. But for some reason, Bradley just being shocked at something and just speechless is kind of funny. But yeah, okay. So Ling is sort of still trapped within greed. I was not sure if greed was just like a, a play that Ling was putting on and Ling was in full control always, but it doesn't seem to be that easy. It seems to be a bit more of a give and take, a bit of a fight the control sort of deal. And you know something, even though the previous greed was a real bastard, he did to some degree care about his people. I wonder if Ling is able to gain control whenever he has some common ground with the current greed that's taken over. Or it could just be something simple as if you say something that would make the Ling inside angry enough, he's able to come out and take control. It's really the money shot right there, isn't it? That's too funny. Fear of Bradley is a homunculus? It can't be. The only thing I've ever wanted to do is protect my fellow countrymen. And I'm not the only one. So many soldiers have put their trust in the military. Yeah, it's this, a bit this confusing. Because the guy Roy went to was supposed to be like that too, but he was with, with Bradley. I'm afraid you'll suffer otherwise. How can we fight a war like this? It's wrong, Ooh. Major! You're disobeying an order! You're dismissed! Call Central for a replacement alchemist! Yeah, Armstrong has kind of a double down or runaway type of thing. The military's methods were ghastly. I could see the malignants. But still, I chose to turn away and run when I should have fought to protest their actions. He's not going to make that mistake again. It's haunted me every day since then. It makes me sick that I abandoned my beliefs. And now that I face the military again, I have to fight. I couldn't live with myself if I ran away now. There you go. It appears he wants me to know there's someone even more powerful giving him orders. Seems yeah. I have to admit I'm honored. You seem surprisingly calm. I don't know. Thank you. It's Everybody just, does. Well, it's similar to how I felt during the battle with lust. I've been called a human weapon and a monster. Maybe I deserve it, but I can tell you this much. I never feel more human than when I'm fighting real monsters. That's a good line. I like I that. See. He accepted the stone and let the beast take control. I'm sorry. I wish we could have stopped him. Don't apologize. I'm only upset with myself for being unable to protect him. I don't think anybody could have Prince. stopped that from happening, though. He's not gone. He wanted He's just it. trapped inside of this greed creature, right? <sighs> I need your help. I want a new arm. As soon as possible. Are you sure? You haven't healed yet. I need an auto mail engineer now. Please help me. Uh, it took Ed a long time to uh, get used to auto mail. Uh, I don't think you should be up yet. It's uh, Mei Cheng, right? Mei? Uh oh. Relax. Come on. What's going on? They're from you rival clans. The clan. I know you too. You're the Cheng heiress. Very good. I'm the seventeenth daughter, Princess Mei Ching. I also know why you're in this country. To obtain immortality. Too bad you won't <laughs> live to see me get it. You wanna okay. leave this room, Princess. Where do I just Al hey, just can you on a minute? Make a wall between them or something. My wounds aren't going to slow me down. Is that so? Well neither will mine. What the hell do you two think you're doing? You're supposed to be resting in bed. Quit trying to interfere with the affairs of- I don't care about the affairs of your country, dumbass! Jeez. It doesn't matter where you're from, you're both my patients. 
You're not planning on making an even larger mess around here, are you? Huh? Because if you do, you might release an unknown pathogen from the floorboards and kill everyone in the house. Aw. Uh, okay. Relax. It's getting messier in here. I wonder how long it's been since he bothered cleaning. Huh? I found this on the floor. Huh? Hmm. So that's where it's been all this time. Wait a minute. Hey! You can't throw away a Wait, family who? picture! I don't speak to my wife and son. What's the big Who's deal? his son? And who are you to decide what I do with my own <laughs> stuff? <sighs> Why don't you go get some coffee or something? It kind of looked like Bradley, though. Who was that? I'm taking the time to come by. I'm actually surprised you. But it wasn't. There's no way it could be. Starting to get a little worried. It worked. I'm able to use my alchemy again. Yeah, it might be like a radius thing or just a temporary effect. I'm not sure. You should have seen those guys. We had a couple of local alchemists helping us with repairs this morning. All they really ended up doing was looking foolish, though. They came strolling in here like they were the very best. And the next thing you know, their alchemy wouldn't work. <laughs> said this morning. Okay. That was when we were underground. Mr. Alchemist, thanks again. A tacky railing. <laughs> Thank you. I know Envy told me that just yeah, it, it's thing. just like a temporary thing. I don't know. It just doesn't feel right to me, which means I'm not fully convinced. <sighs> Snap out of it. I've got bigger things to be concerned with. The alchemy. Those guys were right, and we weren't the only ones who couldn't transmute this morning. It was so, pretty far away too, so. Scar and that little girl were able to use theirs. What does that mean? All I have is Alka history. All I can think of is like it's because it's different. From ours? Yeah. That's the only thing that makes sense. I'm gonna have to make him teach it to me somehow. Maybe I can use it to get Al's body back and take down that bearded bastard. <laughs> oh yeah, I've got to get this to the lieutenant. All right. Well, that was a pretty, actually a pretty chill episode. Compared to like every other one this past like 10. Oh. This is different. They forced me to follow through with their plans. I made a stone for them, and I used the lives of countless Ishvalans to do it. And now they're forcing me to cooperate on an experiment that's likely to result in another genocide. I beg you! Please stop it! You have to kill me, please! Please take my life! My own death is the only form of revenge that I have! Your appearance here, right now, you're like a god to me. Oh! Tell yeah. me everything about Ishval. I want to hear the entire story. What did you use my people for? You'll tell me all of it. Give me the truth before my right hand destroys you! Yeah. So, yeah, I want to know too. Thank you, Scar. Okay, here I was saying that this episode was pretty tame and I didn't know exactly what direction it was going to go in, but at the end of that episode, it really kind of points in the direction to make me think that the next episode is going to be about the background of the Ishval War and maybe some information we haven't had this whole time that pretty much affects the entire direction of the show. I've said again and again that I want more context about the Ishval War, like we get it in bits and pieces and everything kind of makes sense like we got scar's perspective on how everything happened and we have a bit of like roy and uh, armstrong's perspective on it but we don't know what really happened we know envy shot the kid but we don't really know I, th there's so much missing still and i think finally we'll be able to get to it especially the military's actual intentions to it will probably be uh, much bigger and the result of the Ishval genocide might be a lot more well it might be tied in a lot more with father and the homunculus than the show kind of led me to believe up until now I mean obviously it had something to do with all of that it always has but we just I just haven't known as the viewer because I haven't had the context of knowing father for very long or the general plans or even anything to do with Tim Marco 
cool episode. I'm definitely looking forward to getting into it. Thank you guys for watching this episode. I will catch you in the next one. Later.